Okay, so as you can see, here's a 400 yard par four. And um, here is the proper attitude to have when you want to hit it long. I know everybody does, it feels great, you want more distance on the driver, but you're going about it the wrong way. We need range of motion, timing, rhythm. This is the most important club for this. So this is the club that is gonna feel the slowest in the whole bag, not the fastest. So the, the longer lasting swing you have with the driver, the better you're gonna achieve this. So the, the attitude that I have, um, I have a 400 yard par four. You saw the 150 marker. I routinely drive the ball 290 on the fly. That's my, that's my, my landing area, 290. So I know that if there's a bunker at 280, I know I can carry that bunker and I get a 290 and I can, I can reach the, that, that part of the fairway. So, but I'm trying to go for the, two, the, for the 150 marker. I'm only trying to hit this drive 250 yards. The, um, the, the basics of it is you should only be able to hit the driver 20 yards more than your three wood. So see where the three wood is. And then from there say, okay, 20 yards more. That's the, the number you want to have in your mind. So often I ask my students, well, what distance do you, uh, what, what club would you use at 150? Seven iron, okay. Well, um, so you know you're hitting your seven iron 150. Uh, how far do you hit your five iron? Well, 195, okay. How far do you hit your driver? As long as possible. That's usually the answer you get. You want to have a specific, easily attainable distance for the driver. That way you can relax. So I'm just gonna go for this 150 marker. I got a nice little dog leg to the right, so I'm gonna have a nice little fade. So I'm gonna start at the 150 and give it a little fade to the right side of the fairway, the right edge of the rough there. And I only wanna get it to the 150 marker. So to me, that feels very easily attainable. So there's my target. I see my picture. My setup matches the picture. Feel the weight of my arm club unit. <sighs> yeah, that's gonna be easy to attain, all right. So, just the, the 150 marker, that's it. It's like a par three. So, I absolutely crushed that right in that direction. And I carried the 150 marker by about 40 to 50 yards. And it felt really easy for me. So there's the attitude that you want to have with the driver. Maximum range of motion in a smooth swing to a target. So you're anticipating, okay, if I swing toward that 150 marker, does it feel like the tip of the tee is in the way of that? Yes, it does. You notice how the balance was there, the rhythm was there, everything I wanted. And it feels like, man, I can really crush that all day without even trying, even when I'm tired. The problem is, is you'll, you'll crush a couple like that and you'll go, well, man, what if I really, you know, hit it a little harder, see what happens. The minute you go beyond that red line, all you're going to do is rush the arms back into your body. When I'm swinging smoothly, feel the weight. See that nice pause at the top of the swing? All my energy is, is, is going in that direction there, very little energy that is. Whereas if I rush it, my arm will hit my body going back, crash. As soon as my left arm hits my rib cage, my club gets diverted around me. So now I'm in, I'm in out of position. When I'm coming back, I have to physically bring the club back into position to try and meet the ball. As soon as this club gets diverted offline, it's over. You're, you can no longer go for the target. Now you're forced to default to the ball. As soon as you default to the ball, all, you, all the energy was sapped there, number one. Number two, it's not tracking anymore, so you're gonna be crooked and short. You don't wanna be crooked and short, do you? So, wide and free and easy will win it every time, all right? Remember the late, great Payne Stewart? Payne Stewart used to drive, the, one of the exercises he used to do and he was a very sneaky, long, accurate driver of the ball. Two US Opens. You gotta drive the ball amazing to do that, especially at Pinehurst. So now, he would take this drive and go 125. Huge backswing, huge finish, 
125 yards. Man, that was super, wasn't it?